Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and welcome to the Wondershare PDF Element YouTube channel. PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF solution with powerful tools to edit, convert, annotate, fill and sign PDF documents currently with over 2 million active daily users. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the awesome features of PDF Element's document cloud, which is embedded right into PDF Element itself, including how to directly upload documents to document cloud, download from the cloud, to edit on PDF Element and to get signatures signed and processed. So let's jump over to the computer and show you how to do this. So first let's go over how you can upload documents from PDF Element to Document Cloud. So to do this, simply head over to File and the Share and select Wondershare Cloud. After a few moments, this window will pop up. Here you'll see some of the recent files that you may have uploaded to the cloud hit upload. There'll be a progress bar here to show you that the file is uploading. You'll see a completed with a little tick icon to let you know that it's uploaded. And if you want to confirm everything, you can click on cloud details and that will open up the Wondershare document cloud in your internet browser. And you'll see the file is uploaded here. And as you can see, the file is ready to be used in cloud. So once your file is uploaded on Wondershare Cloud, you have a range of options available to you designed to make your workflow as easy as possible. So locate your file and click on this area here. And this will open up a selection of options that you can choose. So for example, you can share and distribute the files. You can add comments. You can send it for signing. You can bulk send, you can download and also rename and delete. All of this is easily done through this little drop down menu here. So now let's show you how easy it is to download and open files from Document Cloud in PDF Element itself. So simply go over to File and here you can click on Open Cloud, select a Wondershare Cloud, and that will open up all of your recent uploaded files. For example, if we click here, give it a few moments to download. And once it's done, the document will open automatically and you're ready to begin editing and using the document right away. Finally, let's go over the process for signing and collecting electronic signatures. Let's say you have a document that requires a single or even multiple signatures. You can start this procedure by going over to the Protect panel and selecting Electronic Signature. This will open up the Sign panel in the Wondershare Document Cloud within your browser. And from this panel, you can request signatures, you can bulk send, or you can also create a template. So if you only want one document with multiple signatures, then you can select Request Signatures. But if you want to receive multiple copies with different signatures, you can choose the Bulk Send option. For this example, let's choose Request Signature. You can drag your file here or go to Add File. You can either select it from your computer or from Document Cloud. So this one here, Add a Document. And at this point, you can also set access authentication for the signing requests and recipients by setting a password. So for example, you can password protect it to make sure that only that person that you've sent that file to is able to access that file. But we'll bypass that option for now. So next we can input the email addresses of all the recipients. So let's do one as an example. You can also import a CSV file to add multiple email addresses in a batch, for example. And you can add CC if you want the document to just be reviewed by another colleague. And over here, you have the option to set the signing order or choose the option to sign first as well, or if you want to sign last. Hit next. So on the next window here is where we start adding where the signatures and dates. And also you can add other fields like title and company. So for example, we want these two people to sign. So we'll add the location of where we want them to sign. And we can also add the date. Make sure to add this as well for any other additional recipients. And of course, for your own self as well. You can also add custom items if you need it to, and you can create them here. But in this case, we don't need to. And also you can save this as a template if you're gonna be sending the same file multiple times. Once you're ready, click Next. And here's where you can review everything in this final window here by choosing your subject. You can add your own personalized messages as well. And you can also choose your own branding logo if you need to, and also set reminders. Once that's sent, click yes. Once that's sent, you're able to easily track the status and details. For example, who has already signed and who is still yet to sign the document. 
And there you have it, that covers how easy and intuitive it is to use PDF Element and Document Cloud in tandem. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section below and check out the links in the description box to find out more and download PDF Element now and see the benefits for yourself. Lastly, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.